Brymil Cryogenic System is bringing cryosurgery to a higher level with the Cryac Tracker Cam. Cryac Tracker Cam features include temperature monitoring. The infrared light sensor continuously and safely monitors the skin temperature of the freeze cycle. Color-coded lights that shine on the lesion to indicate how fast the skin temperature is decreasing and when the desired skin temperature is reached. Easy to see high definition LCD screen displays the procedure with all of the vital information including skin temperature and time. The procedure as well as the screen information is recorded to a micro SD memory card. Then archive the procedure to your computer for later viewing. Cryac Tracker Cam Quick Start Guide. Your Cryac Tracker Cam is supplied with a rechargeable battery already fitted and a removable shipping spray tip plug. Remove the spray tip plug and replace with the needle spray tip. To turn on the device, press the button twice. This will load the unit's software to run the device with the current previous T-Min setting. Press Start on the touchscreen LCD. Notice the battery indicator in the lower right screen. Touch the menu touchscreen. To set the time, touch the clock on the touchscreen. Now touch the up or down arrows to achieve the desired time. Touch the AM or PM. Touch Save on the touchscreen. The time is now set. To set the date, touch Date on the touchscreen. Touch the up or down arrows to the desired date. Touch Save. To set the T-Min, touch T-Min on the touchscreen. Touch the up or down arrows on the touchscreen. Now touch Save on the screen. Your T-Min is now set. The tracker cam comes preset with a timeout for sleep mode set for 30 seconds. To change the timeout setting, touch the timeout on the screen. Adjust the desired timeout with the arrows on the screen. Now touch save to save the settings. If the unit goes into a sleep mode, press the on off button once and the unit will go into start mode. Now your unit is ready to go. When the start touch screen is touched, the video screen will become active. The room temperature will be in the upper left hand corner of the LCD screen. Now focus the two blue beams together on the back of your hand. The temperature should read minus 30 degrees C, plus or minus 3 degrees C. During treatment, the LEDs and the LCD screen will change colors as following. Blue equals actual temperature to 0 degrees C. Green equals 0 degrees to T min. Red equals less than T min. To turn the device off, Hold the button for more than 3 seconds and the unit will turn off. When the battery gauge on the LCD screen goes to 1 bar, the unit must be plugged into the battery charger and left charging for 4 to 5 hours. Overcharging will damage the battery if not charged properly. If the unit is to be left charging over the weekend, hold down the shut off button for 10 seconds. This will put the unit in a trickle charge and will not damage the battery. Do not let the battery indicator go to no bars. If this occurs, the unit will not charge the battery. You must take the battery out of the unit and charge it no more than two hours directly to the charger with the supplied cable. Make sure you put this cable in a secure location in case you need to use it. After two hours of charging directly to the charger, reinstall the battery back into the tracker cam. Routine Maintenance Cleaning when necessary, the LCD screen can be cleaned with a dry optical cloth. The plastic casing can be cleaned with a damp cloth or an alcohol wipe. Do not get any water near the LCD screen, light emitting diodes, or optical sensors. Avoid using abrasive cleaners that could scratch or damage the surface of the tracker. Filling the Cryac Tracker Cam. Remove the Dewar Lid. Place one hand around the neck of the tracker cam and unscrew the bottom half. Place the unit on a safe, stable area. Put on the protective gloves. Place the withdrawal tube into the tracker cam unit first, then lower the tube into the doer, pushing down to create a seal. Fill the unit about three quarter full.
Release the seal by slowly raising the withdrawal tube with the tracker cam unit out of the doer. Replace the lid on the doer. Screw the tracker cam unit back together. Now it's ready to use.